doing good? I'll be okay. <laughs> yeah. Returning home to see the devastation firsthand is hard. For some, it's about getting closure. For others, it's about preparing for a different future. For Shaw employee James Starrett and wife Shannon, returning to Beacon Hill was emotionally draining. You see videos on Facebook and different postings and you really don't believe what you're seeing until you're standing in front of it. A lot different than uh, it used to be. Coming back to a community you love after over a month away is hard in the easiest of circumstances. This is not one of those circumstances and everyone will be reliving their journey back on May 3rd on how they heard about the wildfire, how they escaped it, and how they survived. This happened so quick, we work a kilometer down the road on the same street here at the Shaw Cable Building, evacuate the office. I get to my kids at the school right beside the uh, Shaw office and there's already fire across the road. <laughs> impatiently waiting to try and pick up my kids and get them out of school and and there's fire across the road you know we we run down here let the kids out they run in to grab what they can and about 12 minutes later we're leaving there's there's fire my son's yelling there's fire right on the road here and we leave It's been a hell of a month. It's 34 days ago. Do you believe that? <laughs> We're finally just getting to step back here and actually take a look. <laughs> so surreal. Residents in restricted areas will get time to sift through their personal belongings with the support of Team Rubicon. Every little item has become more precious than the last time it was viewed, and every little item brings up a memory that may have been forgotten. Yeah, it's, you're seeing little things in there. You knew where they sat before and where they're sitting now. It's crazy. Yeah. Like we were trying to think about the things that we miss the most. Mm -hmm. And uh, for me, it's our Christmas tree. It's a palm tree. Right. <laughs> and uh, all the ornaments are from places that we've been. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That, that sucks. <laughs> like, yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, you can see our kids' bikes at the front door there, <laughs> all melted down. <laughs> oh my God. At the end of the day, these aren't just things, they're memories. They're a reminder of the life we've led. For James and Shannon, these things have become a reminder of the region they've grown to love. We absolutely love this community. We'll rebuild. Yeah. And it's beautiful here. We've Really enjoyed everything Fort McMurray's offered us so far, and it's a small step back for what will be a really amazing journey as we move forward. And and uh, you know our, our kids are doing really well on the island right now, and hope to bring them back over the next few weeks, and they can uh, be a part of our journey with us here in 2016 to see what the future looks like with us. Rebuilding will not be an easy task. It will take time and patience something James and Shannon, like so many others in Fort McMurray, are willing to sacrifice in order to pursue this task. Together, we are Fort McMurray strong. I am Doug Roxburgh.